because we have this thinking mind, we keep thinking that I am responsible for feeding myself. I am responsible to go out there and make money. I am responsible for accomplishments. And then when I don't accomplish and I lose, I fail, I beat myself up because I'm having this false identity that I'm the one who does it. But in reality, there is nothing you do. You're not the one who's doing it. It's the presence doing it through you. Whether your actions are good or your actions are bad, it doesn't matter. It's the presence who is doing things through you. So when you get invited and you come on this path of spiritual world and you're coming back home, as this is what's happening right now, we're coming more, we're diverted towards God, we're coming home to the heart, to the love, we begin to feel the presence, we start to notice that there's an order in this life. There is a magic that this magic put things together. There is a power that this power lines things up in a magical way. In the most unexpected way, all of a sudden your needs get met. And as you notice this transaction, the more you pay attention, the more you let go of this imaginary will that your hands on, the more you let it go, the more you sink in here, and the more you see how things come together magically. And slowly, slowly, you're migrating because you're becoming more the observer of the mind rather than being the mind. And then that expansion starts to happen because you're kicking back, you're relaxing in trusting life, in accepting life that you're taken care of. The more you trust it, the more you let go, the more it gets expanded. An expansion happens. So in expansion, everything becomes possible. When you contract it and you're like, this has to happen, this has to happen, I have to find a partner, I have to find love in my life, I have to get rich, I have to do that, it's contraction. Things, there is no room for things to happen. But when you let go, and you're like, oh, okay, I surrender. Then, da, 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 things fall into places for you. Things come because you're letting it, you're expanding. And life brings you things. You need help, it will come. You need guidance, you will come. You need teacher, it will come. You need money, it will come. Everything will just fall into places because, because you're feeling the presence, you're feeling God in your heart and you're trusting it and you're operating from this place of intuitive knowing rather than your mind. And now you can observe your mind. You can see that you are not this thing. This thing is just going like crazy. You're not trying to fight it. You're only watching it. You watch your mind. Same thing, you're watching your emotions. They come and they go. How many times a day do you change your emotions? You get up in the morning and you may be happy. Then an hour after you get an email or a text message and now you're depressed. Then you turn on the news, then you're in fear because the job of the news is to create fear, to put fear in your heart. 
Then by afternoon, somebody calls you and tells you, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Now you're in just panic. Your emotions come and go all the time, like your thoughts. They're passing through you all the time. But who remains here? Who is it that's observing all these thoughts coming and going? And who is here that is observing the emotions come and go? To whom do they come and go? Somebody here must be at all time still. Someone's still stationary and things passing in front of that person because if you don't if you're not still and you're not stationary then how can you detect movements how can you see things come and go if you're in a car driving and you're going parallel to a train. A train is going and you're driving parallel to the train. And you're going in the same speed. You can never tell the train is moving because you're both going in the same speed, parallel to each other. But if you're standing up and a train is passing by, then you know movement. Something's moving because you're observing movement. Why are you observing movement? Because you're not moving. You're still. So what I'm telling you is you are never moving. You are still. Your being, the presence, the observer, the watcher, the one who has watched all of your life. All of your life has passed in front of you because you never move. You're always stationary. And the reason that you can watch your mind and you can see thoughts passing by is because you are not, one, you're not affected. Two is you're not moving. You're always still in one place observing You've been doing it all of your life. From the time you were born, you've been doing it till now. Nobody told you about it. No one has ever trained you or have told you that you are not your passing thoughts. All of your education, all of your life, your schooling, your parents, your teacher, the priest, church, education, media, everybody is telling you you are what you're thinking. Everybody's telling you whatever you're feeling is who you are. So what are you trying to do? You're trying to fix your thoughts and you're trying to fix your emotions. But you're neither your thoughts nor your emotions. That's why you can't fix them. You're the observer of your thoughts and your emotions. You're the one who's aware of them, but you're not them. And since you're not your thoughts and you're not your emotions, a lot of your emotions are not yours. Like if you live in a big city like I live in Los Angeles, there's a lot of anxiety in this city. There's a lot of fear. But when I drive and go in a desert, I go to Joshua Tree, I go to Sedona, I get away from busyness, or two weeks ago I went to Yosemite. There was no, I didn't feel any emotions I was there. I was just very calm, quiet. My mind was not busy.